at 11 tonight, we are tracking Tropical Storm Arlene that formed in the Gulf on the second day of hurricane season. Arlene will keep off the coast of Florida, but we will be feeling its presence presence over the weekend. Here's Chief Certified Meteorologist Betty Davis with the latest advisory and what we can expect. We're expecting moisture in our area, but as for the system itself, it is churning over the Gulf waters, and this is what we're seeing tonight based on the new advisory. It's still a tropical storm, maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, moving south southeast at seven miles per hour and just looking at the presentation on the infrared satellite imagery you can tell that this is a system undergoing some upper level wind shear notice how the clouds associated with the center are on that northeast side as opposed to wrapping around the center of circulation which could be a sign of it strengthening that is not the case so things are going according to plan as we move through the night and into tomorrow the environment will continue to be unfavorable for this to further strengthen. Thus, the forecast intensity from the National Hurricane Center still shows it weakening through the weekend, becoming a remnant low by Saturday evening. But the deal for us is that some of that moisture will be around our area to help fuel our thunderstorms. Things have gone quiet out there tonight after some of your neighborhoods got a good soaking today. I am tracking a few showers and storms developing on that Gulf side of the peninsula uh, just off the southwest coast. Maybe some of these managed to make it a little farther east and come in around parts of Miami-Dade overnight, but it will take the heating of the day to get more of those thunderstorms brewing that produce the rainfall that comes down pretty quickly in a short amount of time. So we are under a flood watch through Saturday evening. I'll be back in a few minutes with a closer look at this forecast. I'll show you how Sunday is going to look, and we'll talk about what's ahead for next week. Nicole? Okay, Betty, thank you.